When I talk about Islam in Asia, I'll talk about how the spread of Islam in Asia actually has to be understood in terms of decentralization of, of um, power. Um, that it ought to be, <clears throat> that we ought to see that this spread was actually done by, uh, by a, uh, a spread of regionalism, right? And as power was decentralized. Um, because in the Sahel people didn't come in Sub-Saharan Africa, it wasn't mainly rulers that came, it was traders uh, that came. The development of Islam in the region was, was rather different. Um, it wasn't a central, uh, you know, it wasn't a governor or a vizier or a military leader who decides to break away or goes and con conquers a new region and decides to become the ruler of that region and break away from the central authority um, or central powers and establish Islam there in, in that way. Um, so that it would go from the top down. Um, it, was, it, was, it was, from the very beginning, much more regional and local, that there were actual people knew Muslims before they became, uh, became Muslims. Islam was practiced in particular regions that people knew about those types of practices before Islam got, became, uh, was adapted, adopted by the, uh, by the rest of the uh, population. And as such, um, families, right? and clans and, and imams uh, had a lot more influence in the way in which Islam was interpreted in, in uh, the region of Africa that we're talking about than rulers. You know, th because those were, those were the people who taught others what Islam was. Right? Um, and this is part of the, part of, you, get, you get this from, again, when you look at the Ibn Battuta reading, the fact that it's these religious leaders that have such a, uh, are, are, uh, are sort of the, the conduits of Islam for the, uh, uh, for the local po uh, population. Um, so we get a lot more local understandings of Islam, a lot more regional diversity in the region, uh, because there wasn't a sort of imperial attempt to be able to bring the region under a particular uh, uh, empire. Is that clear? And one could say similar types of things about the presence of Islam in America. Families play a much more role in the development of Islam in America um, than any national organization does or anything of that sort because they're the main conduits for interpreting Islam and defining what it is that Islam ought to be in the region. Um, <clears throat> To understand the conversion of um, the local population to Islam, um, we need to understand this notion of baraka. Have you talked about this at all? So, barak, baraka, that's the same word, <laughs> Barack Obama. Uh, baraka literally means blessing. In technical social scientific terms, we could think about it in terms of charisma. Right? What uh, Weber talked, Max Weber talked about as charisma, this sort of in, uh, inward uh, in, uh, um, uh, power um, that objects and persons can, can have, right? Some sort of internal power that objects and uh, persons um, can have that exercises powerful influences on other people, right? Um, so baraka could be blessing, charisma. In the Islamic tradition, the idea is that when there are such objects or persons, that they're somehow closer to God. Um, they're understood to have a closer, closer, closer relationship with God so that they become conduits of divine blessings. Now you may ask, how do we know when something is charismatic? There's no institution by which decides when there's something is charismatic or not. Um, people do. You know, if people think that that's what's going on, then it becomes... You know, if some people decide that one Sufi master is a, you know, had healing powers or uh, is a saint, they gather around them and the people make him a saint. Uh, and that's how it happens. Or one, you know, region has particular, one place has particular powers, they ga gather around it and it gets interpreted in the classic, in, the, in terms of a normative Islamic text, in terms of it being a place that's closer to the divine. Right, closer to God, and the Quran talks about certain people being closer to God and being friends of God and, and so on, so they get interpreted um, in those sense. 
the existence of this idea in the Islamic tradition was very important for the translation of Islam into local African um, communities. And I say this, and don't, it also exists in India, it also exists in Iran, it also exists in other parts of the world, it also exists in Egypt. Uh, so, but it's often talked about in Africa because it was an important source for the conversion. But we shouldn't see it as only like an African Islamic, Islamic phenomena. Saints and Baraka exist throughout the, throughout the Muslim majority society, uh, world. Um, and because for the local population, then you could have if a, a religious leader, an imam or a khatib or a, a convert had healing powers, uh, especially if they were writing, for example. So by the time we get to the 17th, 18th century, writing was seen to have magical powers, right? To be able, so you know, they would write amulets, they would write Quranic verses that would get wrapped in amulets that people would wear for uh, protection. And um, if these, these things became things that not only Muslims, but non-Muslims used and the way in which they interacted with Islam. So uh, maraboots or holy persons uh, who were Muslim would also be used by uh, non-Muslim because of the powers uh, that they had. It was a means by which people could in interact and it was a means by which Islam could be translated to the local population. The Muslims could say, you know, that tree in itself is not magical or charismatic because look, I could chop it down and you know, nothing happened uh, to me. You know, I, but what's really powerful is God. And if any healing power I have comes from God, and anything good thing that has happened to you comes from God, right? So it became a means by which people um, could translate Islam. We don't really know if that person then began to attribute the same things that they attribute to the tree to Allah, uh, but we do know that they began to see Allah, you know, the tree differently, right? take more an Islamic tradition, you know, I mean, it's such a huge piece of, of West Africa. Yeah, from the part, they become, they, they're generally seen as the, the praise singers and the people, they keep the old tradition. They're seen as safeguards of the old tradition. So if the entire population converted, yes. But if the entire populations don't convert, no. They don't play, yeah. And to speak in very general, general terms. Um, and the, and within the Islamic tradition, Sufism was a tradition that uh, had developed these notions um, uh, very, very strongly and, and in a very popular fashion. Um, I'll talk more about Sufism um, when we also talk about Islam in Asia. Um, but one of the things to understand here is the important role, historical role Sufism played in, in the Islamic history more generally. We have no means in the Islamic legal system um, by which uh, you could um, say, um, I'm going to be this kind of Muslim, right? Uh, so, for example, to give you a good contrast, so Jews can decide, you know, we're going to be people who, you know, follow the halakha, but, uh, halakha, but um, we're going to drive on Sabbath. Uh, or we don't feel like we need, you know, uh, or others who could say, we're going to only like interpret it in these particular ways and we're going to become this kind of community. Or the same way in which various Protestant denominations could occur, right? And then that they could simply say, oh, we let you be that kind of, that kind of Jew and we'll be this kind of Jew. Or we'll let you be Presbyterian and we'll be Baptists uh, and we'll be this kind, right? Um, there wasn't, there, wasn't, there wasn't a really good system by which you could do this. The Islamic legal schools, the differences that they have provide some means to be able to do, the, do these things. But um, um, they, they do it simply by agreeing to disagree or agreeing that they need to be in, in, in conversation with them. There isn't a, there isn't a simple way by which um, uh, people could say that, um, uh, you know, so even like, for example, the development of Islamic legal schools, uh, in the 10th century, we had, we had tens of Islamic legal schools. A lot of them were just you know, not accepted. Uh, the few that do come to be accepted get accepted because, uh, not because they come to understand each other necessarily uh, as theologically all valid. There were actually a lot of wars between some of the legal schools too. Um, but because rulers came and said, okay, if you belong to these four legal schools, you're gonna be Sunni. And we're going to establish madrasas that have all these four legal schools together um, and help shape this Sunni identity around four, uh, four legal schools. Um, Sufism is the only exception to this. 
So Sufism, by through these sort of genealogies that go back to Muhammad, these um, these um, uh, 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 chains of transmission, silsila that go back to the Prophet Muhammad, and are authoritative, could provide ways to say, "I'm going to be a kind of Muslim who, aside from the players and p uh, pillars and things of this sort, is also going to do dhikr recitations on such and such a day, or is also going to accept such and such a person's teachings as being very important and definitive for the way in which I understand I understand Islam." So. And the fact that Islam comes into uh, uh, West Africa around the time that also Sufi orders become organized and very well developed provided a way for this regionalism and local Islams to be incorporated into the Islamic traditions through Sufi orders. You, getting, you see what I'm saying? Um, that they didn't, have to, they didn't have to do what I was saying. They, didn't, they could, they could uh, uh, adopt practices that other people didn't practice through the Sufi order, through the authority of the Sufi order that was based on a sheikh having received that teaching from someone else who, you know, that goes all the way back to Prophet Muhammad. 